Hello and welcome back. You'll notice we're not in StencilWorks right now, but instead the popular art creation tool Photoshop. Here we'll be teaching you to make your own original content for your own games, so you won't have to resort to stealing Mario sprites anymore. So we're going to start by making a character for the game. He's going to look he's going to be a 32 by 32 image of a stick figure with some pink clothes, uh, some some bear claws, uh, some boots, and a crown, because he's king. Give him a curly tail, too. Alright, so you're going to want... You're, uh, Rock, you're going to want to start with a stick figure. Mm. Can you do this? Oh, I got this. I got this, shit. Okay. It's kind of like a circle. I got it. And then... I, I got it. Rock's got this. I'm, I'm the master. Justin, bring up some commentary. <laughs> okay, I got this. Okay, Justin didn't bring up any commentary, but I rock's got this, and now we're going to start by drawing an outline of some clothes uh, for the stick figure that will later be filled in with pink. What kind of clothes? <laughs> are we talking homosexual, heterosexual, what are we talking? Talking heterosexual for the general public, but do note that stencil user base does not discriminate against homosexuals. Okay, I got the clothes outlined on. Okay, now we're going to fill that in with pink. I've got my pink selected. We're going for a, we're right. going for a hot pink today. All right. Okay. Make note of the advanced pixel art techniques here. We're doing this. We're not using any fancy edit tools, line tools. We're just doing pixels. We're doing the the the, the basics right here. We 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 we, we, the, we, we, the, we the original, the down home true grid. Yeah. Pixel. Right. Okay. Like like. I used to make. Yeah, we have the we have the um, clothes shaded here. We're, okay, yeah. now we're gonna want to give him boots and bear claws. What color boots? Vice. Big, big beefy bear arms. What kind? What kind of boots? They should go up to the knee. What color? Okay, knee, knee high boots. What color? They should. Color. They should either be yellow or pink, because you know, right. like they're rain boots. Okay. Well, cat consumer has got this. <laughs> Matt Consumer has this idea all planned out. Yeah, I have... Okay, the boots are on. And we need the beefy arms. We need the beefy it's bear claws. Oh. Big, beefy bear arms. Bear arms? It, it, yeah. <laughs> Beef. Okay. <clears throat> Beefcake. Okay, I think they're pretty beefy at this point. Alright, so once we've got the beefy arms and the bear claws that are filled in with some color, you want to give them a crown. Okay. Be sure to use lots of saturation in your um, graphics. Saturation yeah. is the key to pixel art. Saturation is good. It makes graphics colorful. Yeah. And they don't look like modern day ground game. Okay, we have the crown at this point. Okay, now, now if the character is all said and done, we want to give the game some polish by giving him a walking animation. So we're gonna we're gonna copy and paste him two more times to his right, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna edit it so it looks like he's walking. Whoops. Oh. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll want to copy and paste it to the right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. To the right, and then to the right again. I'm gonna use an advanced technique here. Um. <coughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and um, set up a 32 by 32 grid so we can see the. See, see where we are at this point. All right, all right. Um, all right. this is so strange not having it full screen. So this may take a while. Um, do note that Iraq is not a professional artist, so I anybody am can make. I am not a professional artist at by any means. Iraq is not a professional artist by any means. Anybody can make their own graphics. Anybody, instantly. Okay, we're we're gonna give him an a walking animation. Let's just erase the legs a little bit and redraw them as walking. Make sure that his knees aren't broken. Make sure his knees are not broken. As Cat Consumer just asked to. Do note that stencil does not discriminate against triple. <laughs> that is very true, Bob, and I'm glad you brought that up. Because 
It's true. At this point, we have a walking animation, a very polished one. All right, good. So now we're gonna want to make our own tile set, okay? So that the actor has something to walk on. Okay. Well, so so these are also gonna be thirty-two by thirty-two. We'll make it sixty-four by thirty-two because it's a tile set, and we'll have two tiles. Okay, we're we're gonna you know, we're gonna do that. What kind of tile should we have? Describe the first tile. Shit. But the first tile is going to be like a grassy kind of tile. Okay. With, with some dirt under the grass, because that's where the grass grows. And then the second one is going to be like a block of some sort. Generic box. Yes. Anyone can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone. With no programming knowledge. No programming knowledge. Just have our little block here. Now, we're going to... We're gonna use a um, one pix border on the block. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, we we have the one pix border. This is this is a polished tile set because it uses multiple different kinds of tile. Yes. Not just one single tile. Yes. Contrary to More contrary to perfect uh to the popular belief um. Consistency is not key. Yes. Consistency is not a key. So, now that we've made our graphics for the game, the next and most important asset, as, whoa, aspect of the game is, um, music. Music, pop, pop, power. Ah! Sick when, beats. When music and graphics collide in video games, they truly represent the strongest art form in media. Yes. Okay, welcome to Pigstone, created by the creator of Pigstone. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and add a, a... I have a bass template set up here where I have my drums, so I don't have to add them every time, but uh, we'll just add a bass, snare, hat, um, and our beepy sound. P um, this is a chip tune. Um, we're in 4-4s four here, so 1-2-3-4, um, 1-2-3-4, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, repeat. Um, just like I learned in choir class. Yes, just like she learned in choir class. So, every quarter note, every half note, you want to have a bass sound. Please please note that choir class is not needed <laughs> to create music. No choir <laughs> class uh, knowledge required. No choir class knowledge needed. No programming knowledge needed. Stencil works is an easy to use Now with the hi-hat, I like to just switch the eighth mo uh, note mode and just... Just randomly place hi hats everywhere, so it sounds like a complex progressive metal song here. There. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to the music aspect. Now that we have our rhythm down. Um. You don't need to know any key keys here. Um. It's more 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 um creative if you just completely ignore keys. Isn't that right, Bob? That's right. I think Wario would agree. Wario would agree. Wario? Yeah, Wario. Um. <clears throat> I'm just gonna just kind of choose some notes here. Okay. Now that we have our notes down, we're just gonna go ahead and add some some bass to the background. What do you think, Bob? Does that sound good? I think ba I think bass sounds like a good idea. Um, we're gonna do ba uh, just play some scales in C major for the bass because scales are um visually pleasing. Just in some commentary, it would be grand right yeah, now. Yeah, that, that 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 would be. We're just gonna copy and paste our scales a, f a few <laughs> times. Okay. Now we're just going to copy and paste our drum beats here a few times. Um, yeah. Blob, what, what's your favorite music? My favorite music is the alternative genre. Now, at the, in the last bar, we're just going to have to just change it up a little bit. Just change everything up. That's how alternative works. Okay. And then it repeats. Now let's take a listen.
It's sounding good, but I think we should turn up our melody and turn down our our bass. That sound okay? No. We're, we'll just go ahead and do that. Bass is a very important part but of music. Let's listen again. What a great song. This has been a this has been how creating music and stencil, so you can stop stealing music. Back to you, Bob. So, as you just witnessed, we've been able to create our own content in a matter of minutes. And at the end of this, you should too also have some content that rivals the greatest media in history, if you put your mind to it. So you can make the very best games. And uh, in the next episode, we'll be putting these content aspects to use in an actual game so you can see how they play out. See you next time. See ya. Rate and subscribe and thumbs up. It really helps me out. Yeah, be, be sure to be sure to rate, subscribe, thumbs up, uh, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps tell, us tell out. Tell your friends. Give us tell money. Tell your friends about us. It really helps yeah, us out. It really helps us out. We'd, we, we, we'd appreciate it. All right, take care, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>